Pearl Izumi has two collections of knee and elbow pads, the Elevated series and the Summit series. There's some differences you should know about if you're considering buying one of the two. The Summit series is aimed at being a lightweight pad with minimal protection, basically just something to save your skin if you fall, and very small impact. Aside from the holes in the front of the pad, it's a little bit tougher, has a few more pads on the side, strap on the back for adjustments, and the internal D3O pad is a little bit thicker. Both the Summit and Elevated Knee Pad and Elbow Pad are CE Level 1 certified. They both use the D3O material for impact resistance. They both use Cordura on the fabric and have breathable back panels. They also have the same care instructions, which is basically machine wash with a simple detergent and it's best to just let them air dry. As you can see, the length of the elbow pads and knee pads are identical. They fit high on the thigh and just above the sock line. The Summit Pad internals aren't removable. They're sewn in. The Elevated Pad has a removable D3O. Filling the two pads, the Summit fills about half the thickness of the Elevated. If you've never felt this D3O material before, it's something that's flexible while it's on your pad, so as you're pedaling, you're not feeling it bind up or anything, but once it has an impact, it becomes solid, so it protects your knee from rocks, twigs, and other things in the trail. The side pads that are included with the Elevated series are pretty minimal. The fit of the pads is very similar. The openings for these are nearly identical. These are both larges. This material fits very similar to like a chamois or the pads are held up by a grippy material around the top and bottom. And only the Elevated Series has the adjustable Velcro on the back that sits just below where the knee bends and on top of the calf. So you don't feel that as you're pedaling. Just to give some comparison, this is a pair of Dekine pads I've been riding for a year. They also have an impact flexible pad inside that's not removable. When comparing these two knee pads, even though the Elevated series is a more robust pad, it still doesn't really compare to something even like this to kind. The material on the top is a lot thicker, more durable if there was a wreck. The pad in the Dekine is thicker even than in the Elevated pad. And overall, the pad just feels more durable if there was a wreck. So I'd recommend looking at the Pearl Izumi pads if you're looking for something super lightweight that's easy and comfortable to pedal in. If you don't plan on falling or if you're moving at slow speeds, I'd say look at the Summit series. It's very comfortable to pedal in, super lightweight, but it's not going to protect you as much as the Elevated series would. Look at the Elevated if you are still more of a pedaler than a downhiller and are looking for a little bit more impact protection and a little bit more ventilation as well. Here's another set of pads from Dainese that are about the same thickness and offer similar protection. I actually don't like these pads. Uh, the opening and the extra material, these are a size large, just fit too big and they continually slide down my legs while I'm riding in them. To give you an idea of something that's a similar coverage, has a similar design with the strap across the back. However, on the Dianese, this cross strap, you can actually feel it in the crease of your knee, which is another reason I don't like it and don't wear these much. I think Pearl Izumi got it right where they placed this strap, but honestly, I don't know that it was needed. With the grip on the top, they just seem to stay in place. I have fairly average size thighs. I weigh about 165 pounds, about five foot 10, and I'm wearing size large. They fit me perfect. If you like, these kind of reviews about bike products and other outdoor gear, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're posting this kind of content all the time. Also, if you're looking for a deal on mountain bike pads, be sure to check out our website, gearchase.com. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up.